Hello my beautiful style squad angels, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and to anyone that is new here. Hello, my name is Christy. I'm a personal stylist that helps women rise through style and I'm super excited to have you here. Today, I wanted to do a little bit more of an informal video because it is fall time, as you all know, and I'm ready to do some shopping. <laughs> and so many of you in the comments constantly ask how I shop, how I look at things. You want to know how I identify certain cuts or colors or just how I shop for myself in general. So I thought I would walk you through some shopping together today. I'm going to give you some of my top tips on how I shop how I scour the stores, if you will, and how I process and look at things as well. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. This video is sponsored by ShopTagger. So ShopTagger, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. All of you know how much I love them. I've talked about them quite a few times on my channel now. And this is probably the biggest tip I have for you guys is to use Shop Tagger. It is such a game changer with how you go about shopping and strategically create outfits for your wardrobe, how you go and strategically shop for yourself and add more value to your closet. It is something I use constantly when I am navigating the online stores. It's huge. So what you want to do is go to the Shop Tagger website or you can download the app directly to your phone and create an account. So you can do that using your social media like Facebook, your Google account or Twitter, or you can just use your email and then click on the top right hand corner there that says get the button. And here you'll be able to get a free button that will download directly to your computer where you can browse to your heart's content. <laughs> so as you can see, I already have mine because it says I can remove it from Chrome, but it'll look like the little button there on the left-hand side. And as you're browsing, you will see the Shop Tiger button up in the right-hand corner by the URL, and you can shop to your heart's content and start saving everything to your Shop Tiger account. Now, what I love about Shop Tiger is the second something goes on sale, I mean the second, it will notify you immediately when that item goes on sale or even better when something has been restocked, which I love because there's a few, quite a few things that I've stocked in past that have sold out and then ShopTagger notifies me the second that they are restocked again. But not only this, I love it and use it all the time myself because it helps me strategically shop. It makes sure that the pieces that I am purchasing are going to add value to my closet because I can see everything in my ShopTagger account at a glance, whether I'm using their app on my cell phone or whether I'm using it from the desktop. It is so good guys. Honestly, it is such a game changer for how I go about my online shopping. So when you start browsing online and you find something you like, like these, hello lover. I love the full coverage on the foot. Um, you can go ahead and save any items to your shop tagger account, which is what I like to do. So for this, I, uh, it's already picked my size there, size 38. Uh, it's got the item here and I wanna be notified of any price change. So you can click whether you want 25% off, 50% off or any price change, which is what I have chosen. And then you can also choose lists, custom lists that you can make as to where you want to save this item. So I've put it underneath shoes and I'm going to go ahead and click save and boom, there you go. That product will now be saved in my Shop Tiger app, which you can see right here along with a few other goodies I'm eyeing. <laughs> but I love it because everything is there all in one glance, which is amazing. So I can go back and check on the items that I'm currently coveting in the ShopTagger app. ShopTagger also allows you to make specific lists for each of the items you're looking at. So you can see I've got all my goodies here. But if I click up in the left-hand corner and wanna click on bags, let's say for example, it will show me all the bags that I am currently eyeing, which is amazing. Or if I wanna look at Oh, I don't know, blazers instead. It will let me look at the few blazers I'm looking at. Or another thing I'm looking at are tops. So if I wanna just look at that, then it'll show me all the tops. It's so amazing to organize. You can create any list that you want at any time up here by clicking on new. And it will allow you to browse and look at all the things that you are currently eyeing. Now, the good thing about shopping with ShopTagger as well is that you also get exclusive coupons and discounts with other retailers that you wouldn't get anywhere else. So once you're in your shopping cart area, it will prompt you to apply different coupons, which is amazing. So it will scour different coupons for you and apply them to your cart automatically to ensure that you're always getting the best bang for your buck possible. So there you have it. I just saved $90 Canadian on this one order, which is incredible. 
I mean, where else can you find something like that? So this is such a major, major must have for when you are shopping online. So definitely check out the ShopTagger app, guys. I'm going to leave the link in the description bar down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Now, the second tip for online shopping or when I'm shopping for myself is I make a list. I grab a notebook, I start going through my racks of clothing and I see what I need. Now, I'm a really big believer in getting what you need in your closet because we can draw inspiration from so many places and if we just get creative in our closet, you are amazed or I'm always amazed, my clients are always amazed at how many outfit combinations we can come up with from what they already have in their closet. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of imagination to light a fire in our closet again and feel that spark of creativity and joy once more. So I really like to go over my things one by one. There's not really a lot I need this year. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with where my closet is at. So having to buy a whole new wardrobe for the season just really isn't necessary. There's a few things that need refreshing and a few other things I would like but it's not something I'm like desperate for. These are just things that I would like to add as of this point. So if I find them this season, amazing. If I don't, that's totally fine too. But these are just things that I would like to fill my closet with at some point. So get a little notebook, make your list. This is such a huge thing. And this is a great way to put on blinders when you're shopping so that your dollar's always going in the right place. You're not going to be aimlessly spending. You know, you may get drawn to something that you you might want to impulse shop with but if you pay attention to what you've written down this will really help you hone in on the style you want to create for yourself you'll make sure that you're not overspending on your budget and it'll make sure that when you do buy something you know it's filling a gap or a need that you have in your closet that is ultimately going to go towards a closet goal that you have in mind now tip number three as I'm opening up my laptop to get ready to shop with you guys is to choose a color palette you want. Now this is something I use with my clients, it's something I use with myself as well, but rather than feeling like you have to mull through all of the selection in store, try and narrow down your options. What colors do you actually want? in your closet. Now, this is why I really encourage online color analysis and why I do it with my clients, which I'll leave the link for you guys down below if you wanna check that out with me. For me personally, my color palette that I want to work with and what I traditionally work with in the fall is camel and cream. Those are always my heavy hitters. In the fall time, it's what I feel best in. They're part of my palette. And this year I want to incorporate a little bit more navy and I'm thinking like splashes of blush or pink as well. They're just really speaking to me this season. It's what I feel happy in, so that is what I'm going to look for it. Now there are definitely other colors I'm drawn to and things that might inspire me while I'm online shopping, but no, honing in on these colors will make my shopping experience much more specific and it will get rid of all the garbage that I need to look at that doesn't suit the vision I want for my closet and that I know will add value and versatility to my wardrobe. Okay, so I've logged on to Nordstrom. I feel like Nordstrom's a good all around uh, website that a lot of people use. Now on my list, because I'm always checking my list, I have sweaters that I want, both navy and cream. I'm looking for it in both a turtleneck and a crew neck style sweater or like a v-neck of some kind so i always love using the search bars in online stores so here i'm going to put in cream sweater and i'm just going to press enter and see what pops up and voila here we go now for me with things that are in neutrals i tend to like to look for things that are fairly classic so for me really i just try and look at things that are going to also have a very classic silhouette so I always like to take a scroll of the page one time over and just see if anything catches my eye. And in this case, there's actually a few so far. Actually, there's a lot of cute options. This is the thing that can be difficult with shopping is you get drawn to many a thing. Um, this, I already have a sweater very similar like this, so I don't need that kind of slouchy style sweater so I can pass on things like that. These are a little too white for me. They're not necessarily like a good cream. Uh, this is cute. I like this one. This is definitely an investment uh, and a little bit more slouchy. So I'm going to continue my search. Uh, 
Actually, this one is super cute. I like that this one has a little bit of room. Let's click on this. And I like that this sweater has just a bit of a relaxed feel. Like you can see that it's not clinging to her body, which is something I really like in a sweater. And uh, it's at a good length. Like it comes down to her hip bone at a nice part. Ooh, but see, it's got a waffle knit. And I am not personally a fan of waffle knit. So we are going to pass on that not going to go back but that's kind of the idea of something that I would like so it caught my attention so at least now it gives me another clue as to something I want um this one also caught my attention I really like the balloon sleeves here but I don't like silver hardware that's just a personal preference for me and my color palette uh so I'm going to pass on this one I'd also saw this one from Everlane that's also super cute uh when I scroll down and I do love the cream in this case you can see they've called it ivory but I do love the cream here so when I'm looking at something like this I do like to look at the models just to see how something is fitting and this comes down to my next point which is fit you want to look at the cut of a garment on somebody generally speaking if someone's facing forward you kind of get a better or truer sense of what the garments actually like whereas if someone's like really posing street style to the side you don't really get a sense of it but I like that this one is relaxed and shows the silhouette a little bit not too much but I do like the shape of this it's also helpful to look at reviews as well this one's done not too too bad so it's something I'm going to think about for now and of course you can see like their sizing it's nice to note what the retailer says like if it's true to size which is good to see and then I do like if you want to check out reviews I like to see what other customers are saying uh, I try and keep it in mind that not everyone will look at things the same way I do but it is good to see if people are saying whether they feel the sweater or the quality is good etc etc but yeah now that I've nailed a color I like yeah, let's go ahead and look. It says that this one is 99% cashmere, which I love. 1% is other fibers, so I don't really know necessarily what that uh, is. But 99% cashmere is pretty good. Uh, and it is a fairly decent price. So I'm going to use this one and think about it. So I am going to add it to my shop tagger account. But the before I do... My next tip is to always look at size guides. These are so crucial when looking at something that you're potentially considering. So you always wanna look at the bust measurement, the waist and the hip. They will always show you where to take those measurements. So make sure you have your measurements on hand. These are so helpful guys to make sure you have the right fit when you are looking at something that you want to have into your closet and to make sure it comes as the right size when it's shipped to you. So you can have a look at the size chart, see what suits your shape, see what might work for you. So I'm gonna close that and I am, I'm gonna add this to my ShopTagger account. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit why later on and another reason why I like it so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and click a medium. I wanna be notified of any price change, again, just cause I'm not too sure about purchasing this piece right now. And I'm going to add it to tops. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click and save that item. So that is a potential cream piece that I'm eyeing for now. I'd already looked at the rest on this page, so I'm gonna quickly scroll down. And then I'm gonna continue scouring. Like this looks a bit too much like a sweatshirt to me. And it's not my vibe. Uh, I love things that have a like a V-neck. Oh, and that has a cute little pocket detail. But this is more than I want to spend, so I'm gonna pass on something like that. It also has some of the men's stuff in here, which I could clear out with the search, but. I'm not gonna bother right now. But I'm not seeing much else that's catching my eye. Um, not at this point anyway. So it might be time to look at a different retailer for the cream sweaters, cause nothing's really speaking to me at this point. I could go through more of the pages, but the further down you get with pages, the less likely it's going to be uh, a part of the initial search you wanted. So there's not really much here I'm gonna look at. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna look at, again, that I'm gonna put in the little search bar here, is navy sweaters. And again, it's something that I'm currently on the hunt for. And you can see obviously other options are gonna pop up. It's up to you as to whether you want to look at these things. Obviously they're gonna be things that draw your attention or pull you in like this. Oh my God, like you guys know I love color. So I might entertain that, but I'm going to show some restraint at this point and just stick to my initial navy sweater that I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna continue scrolling down. Ooh, I love this one. This is super cute, super cute. And I am looking for a turtleneck. I don't mind the ribbing in this. I think it's super nice. Um, Halogen is one, it's a brand that I find to be fairly affordable and 
yeah, I, like they, they are affordable. The quality I find is not too bad, um, but I do like the slouchiness of it. You can see it is relaxed. So if you're looking for a sweater that has more shaping around the waist, you can see this one will not do it. You can also see in the side profile picture with this model, it's not something that's gonna cling to your body. So if that's something you're looking for, take that into consideration. But I kind of like sweaters that have a bit of that relaxed slouchy feel just because it is something that I can tuck into trousers. I can tuck into waistbands and have it give a little bit more shape. And I personally don't like things that are too bodycon. So I actually really like this. So again, you can check the size chart. So once you found a size that works for you, I'm going to again, add it to my shop tagger and I'm going to put this on the medium and I wanna be notified of any price change and it's already on tops for me, which is perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and save that there. And I, this is one of the reasons why I love shop tagger because then you don't have wish lists on websites all over the place, which is beautiful. I like having it all in one spot. This one's also really nice. I do love J. Crew's uh, sweaters. I think they're a nice quality, which is good. Um, and I do like the saturation and colors of their pieces. I mean, they've even got pink, which is one of the things I was also looking for. Oh my God, how cute is that, guys? Oh, I'm really drawn to that. And you can see, again, it has a little bit more shape than the other sweaters I was looking at. So I am gonna save that. And I do know with J. Crew, I'm already uh, a medium. So that's something that I'm gonna go ahead and add and save that. That is such a cute color, guys. Oh my God, I love that. Oh, so cute. Way better than the navy. Uh, and then I'm just gonna kind of carry on that way. But you can see that I would prefer like a V-neck though. I know I said crew neck, but I think a V-neck would be something I'd probably like a little bit more in the turtleneck. Um, and actually something like that that I normally go to is Banana Republic. So why don't we just have a look there quickly. And I'm gonna have a look at their sweaters because I actually do think that some of their sweaters are actually really great price point wise. I find the quality not too bad. Uh, and they always have them in a variety of colors like you can see here, like, oh, see, there's even a camel sweater, which is really, really nice. Like that, we've got some bright colors here. Oh my gosh, this color, is anyone else obsessing over this this season? Cause same, <laughs> but I don't know how much I would wear it. So I've kind of left it by the wayside for now. Uh, so here, let's see, we've got, we've got some cream, got some brighter blues. Uh, it's kind of more of a lilac than a blush. This is super cute. Love that. A merino blend is normally nice and soft too, but actually not really quite what I'm looking for. So it's okay. It's cool. I'm not really finding like what I normally would on their website. Uh, and I'm scrolling through kind of fast because I do prefer their V-necks. Uh, and this is all the crew necks. Although, oh my God, guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, see, this happens. You get drawn to something else. But again, it's not a part of my shopping list. So we're just going to add it because I don't want to forget about something like this. Because I mean, how could you want to forget about such a cute piece? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and save that as well maybe for another day to uh, revisit that. But oh my God, that is speaking to my soul, ladies and gents. Oh, and I've got some cute graphic ones. I love that, but not the colors I'm looking for. And I don't see anything in my V-necks. I've got some cardigans and stuff, but oh, here's the V-necks. Cute, cute, cute. But again, not what I'm looking for. So that's a-okay. Now my next tip and one that I think is really important is to check Fabric. Now, fabric is something that some people care a lot about, others do not. I am someone that likes to really pay attention to fabric, especially when I'm looking at investment pieces. I find a lot of brands now, because there are so many people that aren't paying attention to fabrics, really are cheaping out on it, and it makes them a big profit, profit margin, which is not a bad thing but I'm not sure that it's so great for the consumer. I've seen a lot of designer pieces nowadays, you know, charge thousands of dollars for something that's made out of viscose, which is something personally that I don't tend to love a lot. I know some people love it though. Um, or they make it out of polyester, which polyester has good and bad qualities to it. But I don't know, for things when you're looking at something that's expensive or is more of an investment, I want more natural fibers. I want to see linings on clothing items that I am looking at. And it's something that I remind my clients of too, just because I think you should always make sure that your dollar is going in the right place. And if retailers are going to skip out on fabrics, then you know it might be something you want to pass on. For example, I've seen coats that are being sold for hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars even, 
and it has no lining on it. Like, come on brands, like can you throw at least a polyester lining in there or silk or something to just like hide the seams of the jacket that were sewn together. Like it's just so tacky. And again, it's just ways that they're cutting corners to make a bigot bigger, sorry, profit margin. And I personally am not okay with that. So I always think it's important if you're looking at jackets, pants, etc., to see if there's linings and things, um, or at the very least, just check the fabrics, make sure that it's a fabric you are okay with. And that matches the investment for you that you're about to make with that clothing brand. Now I'm going to go back to Nordstrom for a moment because I didn't look for brown pants here. So I'm going to have a peek and see what they come up with. And I'm just going to make sure that we're whoops on women's clothing. Just so we're looking at the right thing. These are super cute, by the way, the Bellerabe, is that how you say her name? Uh, or the Atlantic Pacific collaboration. I thought those were really cute, but let's see what they've got. Oh my gosh. I love bell bottoms like that. So cute. But again, not too much that I'm thinking is going to work out. I just want something super, super, super classic. Ooh, these are nice. Oh my gosh, look at the investment. <laughs> of course, my eye goes to the thing that's like the most expensive. <laughs> but you know what, I'm gonna click on it. And what I love is I can see that this model kind of arcs around her hip line and so she gets more narrow at the waist. So that kind of works for my body type. And this is why I love examining models frames because you can see it kind of comes in like her. And I do love that it's more of that wide leg. So although it's not in my budget right now, it is something I'm going to keep an eye on. So I'm gonna look at the size guide really quickly. And then I'm going to save it to Shop Tagger once more. So we're gonna choose the medium. I'm gonna go with any price change. I'm going to add it to bottoms that I'm looking at and save that. That was super cute, super, super, super cute. Oh, and these are cute too. Super, super nice. See, this is kind of more of what I'm looking at, but not. this is not money I want to spend on a pant. So I'm just gonna keep hunting some things down. Like that's really nice. I like that one. So let's have a peek at this. I'm not sure why it's showing her top. Yeah, that's really nice, guys. And again, you can see it kind of follows the slope of her hip and kind of narrows inwards without any gaping or anything. So I know it's something that's a little bit more ideal for my body type. So again, I'm gonna save this one just for future reference and uh, see what happens in future. Boom, love that. So another thing to note about cut that I get asked about a lot is blazers. So I really like websites that show pieces without a body per se in it or where a body or the model is facing forward directly because you can see based on these pictures how much waist definition there is. And I find for most part women like to see a little bit of definition around the way. Some will like it more than others, but I like it because you can see it clearly. Like this one here is obviously a little bit more shapeless and boxy. It's meant to be a little bit more relaxed. Uh, this one's obviously exaggerated. Um, but then you have classic pieces like this one, this Alexander McQueen, but you can see all the shaping around the waistline. Same with this Balmain blazer, which is definitely a classic wardrobe piece. Um, but again, you can see that really beautiful silhouette, whereas others may not be like that. Like this Gucci one you can see is a little bit more boxy and rectangular. And it's not that that's bad. It is just something personally that I don't search for. Like this Gucci one here that's got that tailoring. Like, look at that. Oh. <gasps> So nice, so, so nice. Actually, we're gonna click on that, why not? <laughs> so I wouldn't put this in my wish list, but you can see that it does have a little bit of shaping. And you can see on this model anyway, that it's just a relaxed shaping. It's not too, too much. Like it's not too exaggerated along her waistline, but it is something to watch for when you yourself are shopping as to whether that's something you want in your shirts or in your blazers or whether you prefer something that's a little bit more uh, relaxed, so to speak. Now, obviously belts will help with any cinching around the waist, but I personally like shaping around my waistline. Um, I have one blazer to date that's more relaxed. It's a white one. Um, and it's not one that I grab for often. I do still like it, but I just prefer a little bit more, uh, shaping to the things that I'm looking at. This is super cute too. Oh, my gosh, there are so many good blazers out there, guys. But yeah, I, this is a big thing that I look at is for cuts is just making sure that it looks around the shape that I kind of want prior to clicking on the piece. 
Uh, and this is why I love it when they face forward, because then you get a really good true sense of what it might fit like when it arrives on your doorstep. So even this J. Crew one, super cute. I love this. Um, you can see the shaping around the waistline, which is super cute. Um, I like how it fits on the model. You can also see that she's still got some definition and I don't know if you'll be able to see where the mouse is. There's lines here. These are called princess seams. This will also help nip in at the waist. So this is something that's really nice to look at when you're shopping online or even in store to make sure that what you're looking at has a little bit more of definition and a little bit more shape. Uh, and if you're someone that wants things more relaxed then you can forego that. Or if you have some blazers at home that don't have some shape and you want them to, this is a really easy alteration that you can have your seamstress locally do for you. And that's why I love watching videos too. Like you can see, look at that shape, it's lovely. That's actually a super cute blazer. It's linen blend, so I know it's more summery, but for any of you that live in a hot climate, that could actually be an awesome blazer to nab at. Okay, now with some shopping done, I'm gonna come back to my shop tagger account, and this is why I love it so much, guys, because rather than having wish lists on all these different websites, everything that I've looked at and I liked is now in one spot. So we can see some pants uh, that I fell in love with, that sweater, the, the like, blush one, this is so cute, this J. Crew one, I love that. Um, there's a turtleneck, those heels I was looking at initially. Uh, there's the cream sweater, the navy, and there's other pieces that I've looked at in past that are all kind of lumped uh, in here. Now, like I said, for me personally, I'm not in a rush to buy anything solely because I don't feel like I need anything at this point. They're just things that I would like to add and be a little bit more cautious with adding in future as more of an investment uh, for myself. Oh, there's even these like fun skirts. How cute is that color? Oh, love that. Um, anyway, so you can see everything at one glance and this is why I like it because it not only makes sure that I'm sticking to a color palette I like, but that way I can keep track of things that I'm eyeing from different websites, which is why I love this app so, so much. Um, so for me, once everything is in here, I will do one more takeover uh, or review, sorry, just to make sure that what I've got in here still speaks to me now that I've looked at other things on other websites. And if it doesn't, then I will take it out. I found this cute little bag, by the way, like this one and this one. Oh, love them. I'm on the hunt for a white bag. It's going down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like to just make sure that I love everything that's left over. And then I like to walk away. All right, so you've seen that I've reviewed the few things on my Shop Tagger account. I love everything that's in there, but I do like to walk away. And this is a tip that I give to all of you as well. It's so nice to get inspired and caught up by what's in stores, but especially with investment pieces like some of the stuff that I've got in there or with anything, it doesn't matter what the price point is, walk away, walk away. Unless it's like something that's, mm, no, not even then. No, just walk away. <laughs> The reason I do this is because it will take away some of the high that you have from shopping, if you're anything like me, and it will allow you to practically think about what you've got in your faux shopping bag uh, and allow you some time to really think about what it is that you're looking at. So a lot of those pieces, like I said, were a little bit more expensive. It is not anything I plan on purchasing anytime soon. I'm still going to continue to search for more affordable options, other things that might speak to me as I only obviously looked at a couple of stores, but I like to take my time. I really like to make sure that the pieces that I bring into my closet, as you guys know, I can wear multiple ways. I can think about the outfits in my mind at least three ways. And you guys know I constantly rewear re a lot of my items. And I think that's what having a style and clothing that you love is all about. You want to be able to wear those pieces. You want to be able to love them and have joy from wearing those items. So walk away if you find yourself really thinking about it you know, then maybe you're on to something that might be a good fit for your closet. But I like to at least sleep on it, come back the next day. But for me, I tend to check my app and everything that I've looked at once a week. And I mean, I really don't honestly buy a whole heck of a lot anymore. As you guys know, I rotate a lot of my closet, but that's why. It's because I really thought through those purchases and I recommend my clients do the same thing and you do the same thing as well. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much again to Shop Tiger for sponsoring this video. And if you guys find any amazing things online that you think you scored, please remember to tag me on social media. I am at Christy Russell for everything. And other than that, my beautiful angels, I love you to the moon and back and I will see you again in the next video. Bye, Bye guys.